Hi, I'm Linda Hutchinson of L. Hutchinson Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make art out of sheet copper. So here I have some sheet copper, some Java coffee colored ink, a little easel, an anvil, a chasing hammer, a foam work board, and a stylus to emboss with. Okay, so first I took a sheet of the copper and I began to emboss this flower. Using your stylus, you can draw, you can use a stencil, you can draw a figure and then emboss it. You want to, whatever side it is that you want to pop, you go to the other side and you press along the lines and it gives you this nice relief kind of uh, look. You just go like this along the areas that you want to pop, just pressing down. And it comes out like this. Any tighter areas, you can use this end and really get in those grooves and emboss it. Now, I want to give the frame of the thing kind of a hammered look. So I'm going to use my anvil and my chasing hammer to flatten out any bumps along the edge, get it nice and flat in some of the areas where I cut it. And then when I have everything evened out, I'm just going to dimple these areas with the ball peen end of the chasing hammer on my foam work board. And you'll see it gives this dimpled effect, which I find very nice. I'm just working my way around. You can do it as much or as little as you would like. It's a great way to get out your aggressions, very therapeutic. And then again, I'm going to go back to the anvil and just flatten out. Once it's textured, I just want to make sure that this lays a little more flat in certain areas. The corners tend to curl up a lot. So there you have an interesting little piece of art that you can display on this easel, or you can hang it up on the wall if you prefer. One quick tip, you can use the ink to rub over the flower to kind of emphasize the relief a little bit, if you'd like. And just using a tissue or, or your fingers, just kind of rub away the excess, and it makes it pop just a little bit. I'm Linda Hutchinson. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.